Good morning, Tigers. Today is Monday, April the 27th. Good morning, Tigers. This is Mrs. Matthews. Good morning, students. This is Chase Pearl, your student council president. Good morning, students. This is Atticus Paul, your student council vice president. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. Well, boys and girls, I hope everyone had a great weekend. It was very warm and it will continue to be warm today here in Sherman Oaks, California with a high of 91 degrees. And now I'm going to turn it over to our lovely Miss Matthews. Good morning, Miss Matthews. Thanks, Mrs. Miller. Kids, I am super excited because this week we are going to be featuring a joke every day told by or told by me, but submitted to me from you. So if you have an awesome kids joke that you think is super funny and kid friendly, have your parents send it to me through Parent Square and I will pick a joke and I will say it here in the morning announcements and even give you a special shout out. So that's gonna start tomorrow morning. So make sure you send me your awesome jokes tonight. I love it. You know, they say that laughter is the best medicine and we certainly can use a couple of laughs here. Yes, and do. now I'm going to turn it over to Cooking with Chase. What's cooking, Chase? Well, students, we need to make sure that we are eating healthy, and part of eating healthy is eating fruits. Yes, fruits are delicious and they're very nutritious. Now here is directions on how to make a fruit smoothie. Good morning, Tigers. Since it is very hot out, we will be making a smoothie. Now, First off with our ingredients, we have one cup of water. We have an organic tropical fruit blend with pineapple, bananas, strawberries, and mango. We have a half cup of orange juice and a full, a full glass of ice. So first, we're going to put in a little more than half of this fruit blend. That good right there. A little more, okay, that's good. And then, I'm going to pour in our orange juice. And then, all our ice. And then, we're going to, of course, put the lid on. more if you want to but right now here it's good mm, yum boys and girls also this week we have a mystery guest with us and here to introduce our mystery guest of the week is Atticus Polly thanks mrs. Miller I'm here with one of our school's wonderful third grade students Beckett Beckett how are you doing today I'm doing really, really well. And I have some questions for you. How are you handling this tough time? Um, it's been really hard for me. I really wish I could go back to school, have fun with my other friends, and play recess. Yeah, me too. Uh, and what do you think is the most challenging part of distance learning, and how are you overcoming it? The most challenging part is to find a workspace and I'm overcoming it by adapting to any workspace I can find. Interesting. And Beckett, I have one last question for you. What have you been doing for fun in your spare time? Um, I've been hanging out with my family and playing board games. Anything else? Oh yeah, um, yesterday we had a wild game fight. <laughs> or if you choose to. 
I bet that was very fun. Thank you so much, Beckett. Reporting live from Sherman Oaks. Stay cool, students. Back to you, Mrs. Miller. With something to think about, boys and girls, make it a great day. Or, or not. not. The choice is yours. Is yours. Is yours. No, it's yours.